There are a lot of things you can do on a daily basis to help yourself and work on your connection with Allah. You can build up relationship with Allah. So how to do it? You can do it with the five times daily salah that Allah has bestowed upon you. Pray the five obligatory prayers and then pray the sunnah and nawafil. By this doing it on time on a daily basis, you can build up your relationship with Allah. Read Quran on a daily basis, even if it is a single verse. If you cannot read a lot of Quran, then start reading only few verses a day. Start reading only a single verse a day. Then connect with people positively. Learn how to talk to people. Learn how to speak with others. Learn how to improve your character and discipline yourself. Be tough on yourself. When you start a good habit, try to keep doing it. Try to continue it. Try to discipline your life. After that, try to improve your dress code. Watch what you eat. Eat healthy foods. The, eat the foods that will not make you bulky, that will not uh, hurt your health, that will not give you uh, dizziness or make you lethargic. Eat healthy food and be healthy. Then whatever happens to you, accept the qadr of Allah. Say Alhamdulillah in whatever state you are. Allah has kept you in a good position, better than many other people in this world. So always be thankful to Allah and accept what Allah has given you. Strive yourself to become better and be grateful to Allah for whatever Allah has given you. Participate in all causes even if it is just a dua. Participate in the voluntary causes like volunteering in some good works, doing some charity works, helping the community to build something. You go out and try to help someone in the community and if someone is doing something good, try to contribute. And if you cannot do anything, at least make dua for yourself and for the people of the ummah. Then never ever lose your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter what, don't give up salah. No matter what, don't give up your duas. No matter what, don't give up your azkars, the daily remembrance of Allah if you do it. And you must do it and never ever leave it. The main thing is that whenever anything happens against our will, we become anger. We cannot control our temper. The main thing you have to do is that control your temper. It's normal to feel angry, but not out of control. Control your anger. Don't use slang words. Don't be furious with others and don't start breaking things and all these things. And try to control yourself, control your anger. There are a lot of hadiths. There are plenty of ahadith. Uh, which says to control your anger. When you control your anger, you will get the rewards from Allah Azza wa Jal. Focus on being good with your family members. There will always some misunderstandings or some arguments will happen within the family members. So try to solve the matters, solve the issues as early as possible and try to be good with them then last but not the least try to be content and live a life of happiness be content with what allah has given you do shukr to allah be thankful to allah and live a happy life so when you do all these things when you build up a relationship with allah when you remember allah when you read the quran when you have a good character, when you can control your anger, and when you participate in good things, automatically happiness will come to your life. May Allah make it easy for us.